this next segment of Organic Living TV, we're featuring the portable Springhouse Greenhouse. And we're gonna to go to our local farmer's market and visit with Steve from Coal Canyon Farms. He's gonna give us some organic plantings, vegetables, flowers, herbs, and lettuces. So we're gonna go see him at the farmer's market. We'll be back in a little bit. Thanks a lot. So good, thank you. Okay, hello, my name's Steve Wren. My wife, Pamela Mason, and I have started Coal Canyon Farm about 10 years ago. We're selling plants at the farmer's market. We also have a wholesale business. We enjoy meeting the customers. This is how we know what to bring to market. We try to educate people they can grow almost anything here in California. We move the plants so fast, we never need to fertilize. Also, because we move the plants fast, pests are not a problem. I can show you how it's to transplant. If, if, if someone were to put this in the ground right now, this mass of roots here would probably just stay the way it is, and the plant would grow very slowly. So you really have to be brutal and tear these roots up before you get it in the ground. And you're not hurting anything, you're just loosening up all the roots so they can get spread out. As a rule of thumb, it's just watering twice a week. But the most important thing is to look at the plant every day. You don't have to do anything, just look at it. For your greenhouse, I've picked out a good selection of our product. All the basic herbs, usually the Mediterranean, parsley, sage, rosemary and thyme, lettuce, pak choy, maizuna, kale, chard, and of course, strawberries. Thanks for coming by. You can visit us at uh, 12 different farmers markets per week. These are all listed at our website, www.colecanyonfarm.com, and hope to see you soon. Wow, look at this variety of herbs and lettuces. These are all compliments of Steve from Coal Canyon Farms. I want to thank Steve for giving us tips on how to transfer in our potting process today before they go in the greenhouse. Um, you know what, California is pretty amazing. Look at this sunshine. 10 minutes ago we were at the farmer's market and it was raining there. You just gotta love California. Now that we have our organic plants and we're using organic soil, we don't want to put these in any typical plastic container. We have these new eco forms. It's a great alternative to using plastic pots. They're attractive and durable, and they're made from renewable grain fibers and are biodegradable. They come in a variety of shapes and colors, and their tests have shown that plants grow better in eco forms than in traditional plastic pots due to their insulating design. We're gonna start by lining the base with some of our organic soil. Remove the plant from the plastic. Break up the roots a little bit. They're kind of like all bunched together. Stick that in there. Now we'll add a little more soil to top off the plants. Okay, next up we're gonna plant the lettuces. And they also like to be planted in a wide mouth pot and they'll thrive during their growing process. Okay, I'll start by lining the base of the pot again. To break up the root structure, they're all like tangled together like a can of sardines. That way they'll you know, kind of facilitate its growing. Okay, uniformly spaced, and we'll top it off with more organic soil. We've transferred lettuce and rosemary. Next up are these chives. We're gonna use this beautiful green pot by Ecoforms. It's narrower, but it'll be perfect for the chives. Okay, a little more dirt. Break up the roots. These can kind of go in a little tighter than the others. They'll be just fine. Okay, top it off with some, a little more soil. Okay, into the greenhouse she goes.
Okay, we've taken all of our plants, herbs, and vegetables and put them in the Ecoform pots and transferred them into the spring house. They're gonna grow all winter. And then our next segment, we're gonna harvest the bounty. And that, that will be my favorite part because we're gonna be making all these amazing recipes using everything we've grown in the spring house. I can't wait. Check out the Hippie Gourmet's quick and simple cookbook for healthy eating, available wherever books are sold.